Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Battle Gauntlet for the Zenkai Awakening. Uh, basically, yeah, that comes out for Legends Limited Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And quite frankly, that's a pretty good Zenkai. I think it obviously didn't make him super broken, but definitely think it's pushed him back up into the uh, you know, top tier level of things so really really happy with that personally speaking uh and yeah obviously the battle gauntlet's a big part of getting his z awakening power uh it's 3000 zenkai awakening power for legends limited ss4 goku and of course there's also 700 chrono crystals that you can earn as well the chrono crystals everything like that increases as you go up so the further you get the better if you don't go so far you're not going to get that many rewards and yeah, uh, to cut a long story short, battle boosted characters, not too bad here, but there are definitely, you know, some pretty noticeable, um, like, battle boosted characters. Luckily, a lot of people should have Pan, she was a login reward, uh, which is pretty good, and obviously the GT Goku from the Fierce Fight event, so both of those should be pretty decent, uh, you know, at least for me. So yeah. Beyond that, as you guys know, with Battle Gauntlets, it's a fairly straightforward system. There's 100 stages. Uh, it's been updated that you can now skip to stage 79, which does help a lot. Like a lot, a lot. But, you know, quite frankly, it's also just like, how can I say? It is also uh, pretty tough um, to skip the whole way to 79 like generally you need pretty good units to skip to 79 it's not like you can just it's not like everyone can just skip to stage 79 and then move on from there you know i think it's like very much where it's at beyond that that's pretty much it uh in terms of recommendations try and focus on building your team around the three bonus characters you can take and you can only take in three units so it doesn't matter if you have six battle bonus characters, you only really need three. So focus on the three strongest ones that you have. And then also when you do that, build your team around giving them the biggest sizable boost that you can. That's generally what I would say. Uh, obviously, you know, in terms of like equipment and things like that, that's also super duper important as well. So, uh, you know, having like a whole bunch of good equipment is going to help you out. It is going to make, um, like a very 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 big kind of statement around uh how well you do equipment's gonna matter a lot here because you know even with the right units equipment is going to be one of those uh defying factors between you know yourself and other people that run this so personally speaking um obviously there's nothing too crazy in terms of the like how can i say the actual fight itself uh, it's not like a hyperdimensional cop or anything it's very much uh straight up normal normal battles normal everything um personally speaking it's very very straightforward uh so for me nothing too crazy to say here there's not a lot of like secret techniques or tips or anything it's not like hyperdimensional cop or uh, you know a, a, an extreme raid or anything like that or full power battle there's no gimmick to mechanics here it's just basically a, a boss fight uh, against a normal opponent with quite a sizable amount of health um, one thing i will say is just obviously rising rushes uh, make sure you're doing damage with your boosted characters etc always perform the rising rush with the highest boosted character as well that's generally a pretty good basis to work off of but yeah generally speaking uh if i'm honest you know it's yeah it's how can i say pretty straightforward honestly full power like battle gauntlets don't interest me like too much um for me at least like there are a hundred stages of just eh for me and very rarely do i go fully into them generally i just go in enough to try and get enough z power that i can eventually zenkai awaken the units like relatively soon after they come out it's usually just a better way like that um so yeah yeah for me 
beyond that there's nothing too crazy like in terms of these um, like events so yeah just battle gauntlet isn't really that big a deal uh, in terms of difficulty and mechanics you know, basically do as much damage as possible uh, make sure you use your bonus boosted characters and you know do sensible things uh, Goku noticeably does have quite a few uh, ultimate attacks I think is one thing I will state uh, he does seem to pull a couple of them very often from what I've seen uh, so just be aware of that if, if anything and yeah that's basically it so that's battle gauntlet stage 70 i believe completed which yep is pretty cool uh a decent way in obviously guys it's going to entirely depend on you know what you are looking to do and how far you're looking to go in but for me uh just always keep these principles and you should get as far as you can and try and always get as far as you can yeah chrono crystals are one thing but it does help even if you don't have the unit in future you might get the unit you're gonna really wish that you had the Zenkai power for them. You're not gonna want to wait and everything. And obviously it does play into the missions as well. So doing the Battle Gauntlet will also help you complete the missions. Because the two do have some crossover. But yeah, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video and bye.